The Westboro Baptist Church is known around the world for its picketing with hateful and derogatory signs. In a KNBC 9 News exclusive, we are getting an inside look at the church from one of their own who grew up in the church before escaping at the age of 27. Now, some of the video may be hard to watch, but it's Megan Phelps Roper's story of heartbreak and a brave breakthrough to a different life. Means that the dominant Fred Phelps, known for his fire and brimstone sermons at Westboro Baptist Church, of illicit sex was Megan Phelps Roper's grandfather. Megan grew up on the grounds of Westboro Baptist Church in Topeka, Kansas. A part of her childhood was loving. We swam in the pool out back and, you know, went running and, you know, all kinds of things. Like there was that normal side. But this family, Megan says, was religiously rigid, exclusive, and at times physically abusive. Gramps' policy was to beat for us, ask questions later. That's the first piece of solid evidence that you have that the young man is currently in hell. Family outings included carrying signs that insulted many. Have you got a wife ugly? I seen you with some ugly woman. Inciting boy. heated arguments. One enemy. Hey, hey. Creating a lot of anger. What the heck? Megan started carrying those signs at age five. We thought it was our duty to go and warn people of the consequences of their sins, and I understood that to be the definition of loving our neighbor. Evil city. We always would say, you know, the sign doesn't say anything about our personal hatred as human beings. Like, it's talking about the hatred of God. As Megan matured, those infamous arguments on the streets carried out on social media, and it was then, in tweets and posts from all over the world, continuing the debate, that Megan's steadfast, hardcore belief system cracked. The way that it came into my mind was, oh my God, what if we're just people? What if this isn't the place led by God himself? And that realization uh, was staggering and completely destabilizing. In 2012, Megan and her younger sister Grace left everything familiar, her family and the church, and started a new life. To repair the world. One that she says fosters curiosity in all people of all faiths. And her most startling revelation. Um, I don't really believe in God anymore, but there are, you know, I just feel like I don't like to say I'm not a believer because I, I still feel like a believer in a lot of things, primarily you know, hope and grace and the power of human connection. But not God. No. Now, family members still affiliated with Westboro refuse to have any contact with Megan. And she says she does keep up with them through social media, but she, she really has shred her Christianity. And fascinating how social media helped turn her beliefs around. Chris, she said if it weren't for social media, she would probably still be at the church. And, and where is she today? Now she lives in South Dakota. South Dakota, I'll be yeah. Great piece. Yeah.